Hello everybody, this is Eric 1983 and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. Alright, so yeah, I did sell off a whole bunch of stuff. I've got the uh, Belt of Hill Street Giant Strength there, and I also decided to, uh, since it, uh, the, uh, the Dalin's Artifact, if you will, uh, didn't, you know, boost my multiplier to six or anything like that, I just took it off and I decided to use the uh, Natural Armor uh, plus one there. So, there we go. Uh, you could also use, um... I think it was the Linus, the one with the dark vision. That could kind of, actually, you know, I think I'm gonna wear that because it is nighttime right now. So, just so I can see in the dark. There we go. All right, let's go. Fall in behind uh, me will here. It work. That is the right one, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess. Yeah, we'll find out when we leave the town. <laughs> oh, wait, there's one... Sorry, there's one more person we need to talk to. You remember one guy we at the very beginning he said he wanted us to uh, come back and share any information we found on the cult with him? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go do that. Hey, he's still here. Dark time. happens for a reason, it does. Thanks so much for helping me You there, any progress? If this Neo mine were banged, I'd be out with you. Uh... I have explored the caves that you mentioned. There was a cult member there who was stirring up trouble. Just as I thought. See, you gotta trust old Dark Tongue. I'll send you down the right path every time. Did you find the, where the cult was based? I have nothing to tell you. I'll keep at it. We need to punish the ones who unleashed the plague on poor Neverwinter. Alright, there we go. Alright, that's all I wanted to do. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Uh, yeah, I'm on Sherwood. Fall in behind me here. All right, time to head further north. Dig a little deeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you the first time. Oh Fall no, in not behind me. Die, game. Yeah, put her on the sign. All right, there we go. Fall in behind me here. I hate when it does that, but. Oh. At least I noticed right away, rather than walking half up here and like, ah, oh, damn it, and <laughs> having to go back. Yeah. As much as like, uh, as much as I enjoy killing time, hey, it's come, turning into daytime. All right, let's uh, put the uh, other one back on. Oops. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Yeah, let's put this back in the uh, bag. All right. Let's go a bit further north. I'm just curious. Thought I saw another boar up here uh, in one of my other videos, but yeah, I guess I was just hallucinating. Or maybe it was just one of the rocks down here. Oh well. Alright, let's go. Where are we going? The Green Griffin Inn. Alrighty. Cool. Well, now obviously, we gotta clear this place out of any baddies, if there are any. And treasure, of course. Oh dear. Sorry, that was a bad joke. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see what we can find. Butterflies! Uh oh. I hear something. Yeah, okay, don't go down there yet. <laughs> Alright, I'll unleash the undead. That's where the, uh, the uh, graveyard is. Oh, hello. Good, I didn't have to go down there. Kill the boar. Your end was nigh. That hurt. Oh, jeez. Sweet. He did. Alright, what's up here? Uh, got a badger. Uh, oop, there's a wall. That must be Luskin. Yeah, that's Luskin. We can't do anything there. And there's a bunch of undead down there. Should I actually? Yeah, I may as well just kill them. Easy kills. Actually. Yeah, let's leave Sharwin here. Yes. Don't want to share any experience with her. If I don't have to. 
they're all zombies down here anyway, so oh, in that case I might want to uh, change my amulet here. <laughs> Prepare to become one with eternity. Oh, come on. So good. Sweet. All right, what do we got here? Gold. And a barrel. Yeah, if you come here during the night, there will be a lot of undead in there. I think there probably still is, but yeah, I think it's just supposed to be during the night, but yeah. They will actually break down this door. So we might as well, uh... Yeah, let's just go inside. What's the sign say? The board reads, Beware, the undead are restless. Bring weapons to visit. Grandma or don't visit her at all, really. To assign the ter caretaker. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to the caretaker. Caretaker, awesome. Good day. Hey, what's this? Are you one of my dead come back to haunt me in my graveyard? Your graveyard? <laughs> yes, my graveyard. Damn it! You think these old headstones just clean themselves, do you? Ah. <laughs> uh, well, who are you? I take care of all these ni all these old stones, dear man. Keep them nice and shiny for the visitors. Oh yes, tis my job, you see. Are there many visitors, then? Well, no, not really. Not since they moved the graveyard inside the city walls. As if anyone would want to be buried out here where the grave robbers could strip you of your last possessions. Oh, but if only they knew. He, my little graveyard has its secrets, so yes, it does. Uh, and just what sort of secrets are you talking about? Well, all right, then. Listen close. They buried one of the oldest members of the Arcane Brotherhood here. Right here. Oh, yes. Oh, and what's interesting about that? This is very interesting because they carved out a whole tomb underneath the, the mausoleum, full of magics and everything, or so I'm told. You haven't gone down there? Oh, no, no, no. I have the key, of course. There's just, well, zombies down there and such. They come up from time to time. That's why I keep the mausoleum under lock and key. Zombies? Hmm? Oh, yes, yes. They've been a bit restless for quite some time now. I imagine it's one of those wizards down there, not quite as dead as he should be. <laughs> you know how it goes. That doesn't frighten you? Us caretakers don't frighten easily. Besides, I imagine that fellow is busy with his books. He won't be bothering me for quite some time. What books? Oh, did I say books? Or No, I didn't. I said he's busy with his looks. Yeah, that's it. Those undead look at fright, you know. <laughs> no, you said books. I'm sure of it. Dang, blast it. <laughs> fine, fine. It just so happens those fool wizards left a whole collection of magical books down there. I don't know why, but they just plain forgot him about them, I guess. Leave it to wizards. I ain't never seen them, but my grandpappy did. He said they was huge books all covered in runes. Runes. The kinds of things wizards usually get their robes in, all in and not over. Like this one wizard who came by here months back. Altura, she said her name was. From Port Last, desperate to find them books. I didn't tell her nothing. Anyhow, I imagine them books is connected to so, to whatever strangeness is going on down there. I don't mind. It just t it takes things as they come. Uh, what's this about Altura? I get just what I said. Some mage from Port Lass who came here looking for them, old books. She said she'd pay a pretty price for them, too. She wouldn't pay me nothing unless I actually went down and got them, got her them books, however. Blood thick headed the mages, I tell you. <laughs> Alright, uh. How about you give me the Ikea and I'll go down there? Let you plunder the tomb? Never. Or not for less than 200 gold pieces, anyway. Uh. 50 gold, and you can thank me for that. Damn. Alright, uh, I'll give you a hundred gold, though. I'm not sure this is a scam. I'm sure this is a scam. Damn it! Alright, two hundred gold it is. Fair enough. Alright. Yay, we can go into the tombs and look for one of our tomes. <laughs> tombs of tomes. Uh, is that it? Oh, we got... oh yeah, still got tab here. Religions of the Sword Coast. Oh, there's the key. Let's put that down there. A little OCD on my part. And the door's gone. Yay! <laughs> Prepare to become one with eternity. Sweet. Oh, it's been a while since I've been able just to just use power attack all the time. Eh, 
this is going to be fun to watch. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I suppose I should mention, it's a little late now, but I did restock on the Cure Sit Serious Wounds and Cure Critical Wounds as well, so when I was uh, selling off my excess equipment. Eh, bad, better late than never. We aren't exactly in any real danger yet. Unless he ran into some particular person uh, coming up here, but... Oh, well. It's another one of those random happenings. It decides to happen whenever it decides to happen. And if you're at all wondering, I actually should be able to reach level 10 by uh, clearing out this tomb. Even more so if I uh, do it. No, I'll do the majority of it solo. But there is one guy at the end, the very end, the, wi the wizard that guy was talking about. Um, I probably won't be trying to kill him for quite some time. <laughs> just because I just want to have, uh, actually I might do it, but uh, I'm not sure. Right. Whatever he is extremely wish. powerful and I have yet to be able to kill him. <laughs> so. I'll definitely at least want Sharwin leveled up, which will be well, after, the, after I get to level 10. So. Alright, uh, anything else? Got the corpse. What was that? Oh, it's just a shrub. Alright, we got... Hey, we got a uh, statue. Hey, we got another zombie. Right. Whatever gods you worship. Alright, I guess I gotta bash this one. What do we get? Uh, there we go. Alright. Uh, should I bring Sherman down here? Yeah, I think I will. Because <clears throat> I probably... Eh. Yeah, I'll bring it down just in case. Actually, or should I do that first? Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna go to the Green Griffin Inn first. Yeah, it's just a lot of things to do here, you know. I suspect. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's go. Or now, let's do that first. <laughs> It'll make the uh, Green Griffin Inn and what goes on there a bit easier as well. So, like I said, it's just to, pretty much just to get myself to level ten before I have to do that. So, all right. I suppose I didn't have to go around that rock, but you know. Being the good sheep that I am, gotta follow the road. Alright, well there's the uh, the mausoleum entrance, so I guess we'll have to take care of that next time. This is Sirik1983 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.